Uh, first off, um, let me thank everybody for being here. Um, I don't really need to introduce myself, I'm, I'm, but I'm uh, Billy Dunlap, uh, the chairman of the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame. And I'd like to thank the chamber for the use of their facility today, Greg, was so was so gracious to uh, allow us to be here. Tell you a little bit about kind of how we got to, to today. The uh, Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame was created to honor the men and women that through sports have brought pride and honor to Lawrence County, something that um, has not been done before. Uh, to my understanding, there's one Hall of Fame in Lawrence County, and that's the Lawrence District 55 Hall of Fame, uh, which, to, which announced their new class uh, last, last week. We are not reinventing the wheel here. Um, spent a lot of time with the York County Sports Hall of Fame in, in Rock Hill. Uh, have actually been to two of their induction ceremonies. Um, have, have met with their organization. And we're basing what we're doing off of their experiences and their expertise. Uh, they started their Hall of Fame in 1998 and they have uh, inducted over 75 people into the York County Sports Hall of Fame. The uh, Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame will begin in 2017 with the inaugural class, but the groundwork for its existence has been years in the making. The school gymnasiums, the YMCA's, the neighborhood Santa Lodge, church gymnasiums, community centers, youth sports leagues, high school and collegiate playing fields have all cultivated the long and rich history of sports in Lawrence County. When we talked about putting this together, we thought right off the bat of 25 to 30 people who are automatic students for the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame. The sports history in this county is tremendous. Um, there's, there's a lot, when we go to Touchdown Club and we talk about the Lawrence County legends, um, there's a lot of Lawrence County legends, uh, not just on that group, but um, you know, I hear stories of, of people that have, have come, and, come and gone, people who were pitchers in high school. Um, you know, there, there, there's, a, there's a lot of sports history here. The individuals honored by the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame are reflections of the dedication and devotion of many people who love sports. For that, we will always be grateful, and through those efforts, we see lives that have been made better and lives that have added to our community. The Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame will hold its first induction ceremony in late March of 2017. So our work starts now. The ceremony will, fig will feature the inaugural class of the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame. Nominations for the 2017 class will be open on September 15, 2016, and the nominations will remain open until October 31st of 2016. The inductees will be announced in January of 2017. I want to start with recognizing our steering committee. The steering committee for the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame is the group that really makes things happen. They make the ceremony ha happen. The ceremony, which will be a, a sit-down banquet dinner, um, will be held at night, uh, late March. And, and the reason I say late March, we're waiting on spring sports schedules. Uh, because we want to make sure that it's on a night when we don't have any competition. Uh, our steering committee, which they will make the banquet happen, uh, they will be the behind the scenes people. Uh, that group is Scott Tolleson, Annette Patterson, Buddy Bridges, John Avery, Rhonda Crookshanks, and Greg Alexander. Now, now let's talk about how we get to the first class of inductees. The Hall of Fame is open to all Lawrence County residents, past and present, and, but there's a certain criteria. They must have been a resident of Lawrence County for five years. They must be out of high school for 10 years. The main emphasis for selection will be athletic achievement and performance, but all nominees should represent the positive aspects of sports in general. Other criteria considered for selection will be sportsmanship, integrity, citizenship, character, leadership, community and civic contributions to Lawrence County along with awards and honors. 
anyone can nominate anyone for the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame as long as they meet that criteria. You must go to Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame .com, which is close to the longest URL that I've ever <laughs> witnessed. Uh, and when you when you get that URL, you definitely have to proofread to make sure that you have all of your letters in there. But you go to Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame .com to nominate, and the form to nominate people is at that address. Deceased citizens may be may be nominated. The, the deadline for entry for the 2017 class, uh, like I said before, is October 31st, 2016. Nomination forms will remain on file each year. So once a person is nominated, they're nominated really for life or until they're inducted or until they're not inducted. But they do remain on file each year. Now, where it goes from there, the nomination form goes to the nomination committee, which is made up of representatives from throughout Lawrence County. The nominating committee re reduces the list of total nominees to between 10 and 15 people. They will meet in November of each year. Normally the nominating committee will meet at least once, possibly twice in November to narrow down that list to 10 to 15 people. Our nominating committee, which I'm very excited about, which I think is a is a is a a who's who of of Lawrence County sports personalities. Uh, the nominating committee is Eddie West. Eddie is a new and will be a new inductee into the Lawrence District 55 Hall of Fame this year. Robert Lights, Kay Monroe, who is with us today, Brian Sheely, Melvin Allen. Willis Fortson, Bino Brown, and Sandy Crookshanks. So as you see, we have representatives from throughout Lawrence County. Lawrence Clinton, uh, Great Court, Hickory Tavern. So we have a great representation. The nomination list then goes to the selection committee. The selection committee is made up of three individuals. The selection committee is anonymous. The selection committee makes the final decision on who the inductees are for that class of the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame. The selection committee will meet in December of each year, and they will normally meet once or once or twice. And their their job will be to to narrow that list down to anywhere from four to six inductees each year. That's our, that's our goal. Like I said before, the induction ceremony will be a banquet in late March. We'll have a guest speaker. It will be a celebration of the inductees. It will be a community celebration to honor these inductees. And we need the community to be involved for this Hall of Fame to be successful. There are several ways for the community to get involved. But the main way is for them to support the Hall of Fame through sponsorship. This is a self-supporting organization. It's not tied to a school district, a county organization, a city entity. It is a self-supporting organization. Hall of Fame sponsorships are available to include a table of eight at the banquet, a full page ad in the program, a banner at the banquet, pictures with inductees, and a signed program by the inductees. All-star sponsorships are available that include a table of eight, a quarter page ad in the program, and a signed program by the inductees. Individual tickets will also be available to the induction ceremony. They will go on sale in January. Now on the day of the ceremony, like I said, it's all about the inductees. They will start the day uh, by visiting the Lawrence and Clinton YMCA, where they will view the plaques that will be on display permanently for the Hall of Fame classes. The plaques that will be displayed are about half the size of, of this smart board and they will, feature, they will feature pictures and descriptions of each inductee from that year. The Clinton YMCA will get one, the Lawrence YMCA will get one. So it will be a, a permanent display that um, 
that people that people can go look at. Um, the last time I went to the York County Sports Hall of Fame, they displayed their plaques in the Galleria Mall uh, in Rock Hill, and I went to view the, the, the plaques. And while I was there, there was probably 10 or 12 people who were walking through and looking at all the plaques and reading the descriptions and learning about all of those 70 plus people who have been inducted. So that's how the induction day will start for the inductees. Then there will be a reception before the ceremony for the inductees and that will give them a chance to meet with sponsors and that will give them a chance to autograph programs that will be available. During the ceremony the inductees will be honored with a video slideshow about them and then they will have a time to speak. We normally will give them approximately 10 to 15 minutes uh, to get up in front of the group and speak. We expect 400 to 500 people at the induction ceremony. Uh, we're planning on this being a really, really big deal. Uh, but the, the night of the induction ceremony will be all about the inductees. Once late March 2017 comes and we have our first class of the Lawrence County Sports Hall of Fame, we'll start the process all over again next summer and we will induct the second class in March of 2018. All right, I appreciate everybody coming.